Hello world and welcome back to Cultist Simulator. I am Car- I am Giordano Ficino, an aspirant and founder of the Society, Society of St. Hydra. You're welcome. Now here's the thing. <laughs> Our adversary, uh, Dr. Natalia Dragon, has uh, accumulated quite a bit of um, evidence against us. Some tentative evidence and some notoriety and some other notoriety. So it's entirely possible. It's entirely possible that we're going to die. Um, it is entirely possible. We've also... Oh, I want to get rid of this tentative evidence. I really, really do. So... Rose just failed. Let's get Rose to maybe get rid of this tentative evidence. My minion lacks the moth aspect and will be out of their depth. There's a small chance that they will succeed. <sighs> we should have gone with Sylvia. Uh, so Sylvia will actually explore the city. Thank you, Sylvia. I appreciate that. <sighs> okay. Um, the world is as it is. We no longer have any dread. That is good. We, however, have created one more passion using um, our additional uh, skill, Wild Imagination, which is good. But we're running out of money. Um, we'll actually put the reason towards that. Oh, what is this? Bleak thoughts. Raindrops keep falling on my head. I don't really know how to move on from this. But let us dream with reason. We've explored streets by strange moonlight. Okay, let us continue to explore streets by strange moonlight. Let's get this notoriety out of the way, but we still might have some really strong evidence against us. Um, which is not good. We're just basically going to have to lay really, really low for an extended period of time. We did, however, get some contentment, which is good. We have some contentment. Um, Rose, a believer, has done nothing. Um, and a fleeting memory is the clouds part. We are no longer despairing. But this is something that I am worried by. She is creating some damning evidence. When she gets any evidence beyond that, we might very well go to trial. So I think we might have to, um, we have to kill her. Basically, we have to kill her. It's as simple as that. We don't have any choice. We have to kill her. We have to deal with the... We have to try to deal with the, um... We, we have to get rid of the evidence. We have to destroy the evidence. We are dreaming with passion of... A Megalesian incantation. And she's created some damning evidence. If this evidence ever reaches trial... Earthgape! Oh no, it will not harbor me. With damning evidence, the Suppression Bureau will be able to convict you. Evidence may survive the death of the hunter who created it. So, Sylvia, you have the moth aspect. Sylvia, please be a deer. I really need you to get rid of the damning evidence. I, 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 that, that's the, really the only way out of this. Because even if we kill Dr. Natalia Dragon, um, the evidence may still stick around. We do ever have two glimmerings. We need many, many glimmerings, though. Let's continue to explore the streets by moonlight. Let us... Oh, I forgot to go to work. Let us plead to comp to regain our job. But hey, at least, you know, we're having a pleasant day, which will create some, uh, some enjoyment for us, which we can then use to offset the dread. So here's some contentment. Here's some dread. We will soon get rid of that. Um, we're also going to get an erudition. So. Change by moonlight. Let's do this again. Maybe we can get four glimmering. How many do I need? I probably need six. Right. So we have... Pleaded to keep our job. I've been offered another chance. I'm grateful for the chance. But we're back as a junior. Alright. 
That's what happens when you forget to go to work. That's what happens when you forget to go to work. Um, boom. Tampering with records. My minions not returned. They have failed and their blundering may have attracted attention. Rouse. Deal with the evidence. Dreams of the rain. I dreamt of the rain whispering in the eaves, tapping on the windows like an old friend, hissing prankishly in the chimney. It is difficult to be unhappy in the right kind of rain. Let us dream of dread and contentment. Those will offset. Okay. Let's dream passionate. Oh, no. We can't dream passionately about anything. Um, how do we get out of this? Let us work with diligence um right streets stranger by moonlight let's continue just wandering the streets i think that works oh i know what we can do let's get to watchman's secrets let's combine these for a deeper level of lore because this is one erudition that will expire in 169 seconds does it actually tick down yeah that does tick down okay okay so we have a subtle fracture and these things are more useful later on um, like aspects and influences, but those are only for rights, and we're not anywhere close to having rights yet. Uh, we've pr been promoted, yay, which means Mr. Alden is still bothering us. But that's okay. That's okay. We missed work once, we got our job back, and now we're still working hard. Which is good. Which is good. Contentment has offset the dread. Fantastic. Let us now, let us dream with passion of a sexton's secret. I know this dream. A road crests a hilltop in the air is silver bright. And yes, trembling in the air, the fascination is causing visions. My research needs a glimmering. Oh good, there is a glimmering. Streets by Moonlight Contentment. Let's continue to do this. Okay, this notoriety is going to go away relatively soon, but it's this notoriety that I'm a little bit worried by. My minion has not returned. We are going to be arrested. That is a simple fact of this game. This particular cult, the cult of St. Hydra, the Society of St. Hydra, is not going to survive. We have no minions with which to dispatch of the damning evidence or the inspector. I could get a minion, but uh, that person won't be any good and that will only increase the notoriety against us. So, so what can we learn? Don't build up too much notoriety. Never have more than one notoriety at any given point in time. And if you have evidence against you, do nothing until that evidence goes away. Because evidence does go away. This will be 527 seconds. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. A sexton's secret. We have gained vitality. Let us instead dream with passion, a gain of an occult scrap. I know there's a way to get away, but I can't quite remember what it is. There we go. This is unfortunate. But hey, at least that notoriety went away. We need these two notorieties to go away as well. Uh, do we still have the erudition for another seven seconds? This needs a glimmering. We don't have... Oh, yeah, we do indeed have a glimmering. There we go. So maybe we can actually combine these two. That would be good. Back to working overtime. Really wanted to get rid of Mr. Alden, but instead I just got myself arrested because my minions are blithering idiots. That's frustrating. Away. The Bleached Way. Color exists only where there is light, and the wood is the place where light does not walk. In the dream, 
I close my eyes and walk, stumbling, bruising my feet and knees. At, at last, the undergrowth before me grows too thick to pass, and when I open my eyes, I'm adrift among black trees. Shadows flutter. My feet will know the way back to this place. So we will dream of the way to the wood. I've learned the path to the wood, the tangled darkness that grows around the walls of the mantis, though the mantis has no walls. I can dream with this to return to the wood. If I have enough passion, I can walk the dream road to the wood. If I have the right knowledge, I might be able to find the way beyond it. So we, if we dream with passion, we can get a new card. It might be new lore, might be new different things. But if we have the right knowledge, we might be able to find the way past it. So let's see if the Sexton's Secret is the knowledge. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the different lores down here. And I'm going to try them one by one. Eventually we'll find a way past the wood. If that particular lore does not pass the wood, I'll bring it back down here. Makes sense? Makes sense to me. So there we go. We... Promising research. Gain three insight. This is an insight. We have gained one, two, three insight. We will have succeeded in the mystery. We have combined two Watchmen secrets into a more powerful lore of the lantern, which is good. But we have gained some money, which is good, because we were down to two monies. Um, let's go back to work at Glover and Glover. And, oh, we have... No health is left. What do you mean? There is a health. We have a Mensis Glimpse. The increased, I've increased my mastery of the glorious lore, which we call by its name, the Lantern. A snatch of poetry, a single memory of a certain house that all of us visit at least twice in our lives. For one's first visit to the Mansus, the lore is almost essential. We have vitality that we can dream with, which we can dream uh, to clear us of the affliction. The memories have parted. Whew. Okay. Let us study. What shall we study? What shall we study? Let's not study anything at the current time. What shall we explore? Let us explore the city with our health. Let us just walk around. See what we can see. Maybe we will find a new place. Oh, we found a hireling. Well, I don't really want to increase notoriety any more than we than it currently is. So I actually want these to go away. I want these to disappear and then I want damning evidence to go away too. But I'm not sure that's going to happen. Sexton's Secret, oh, that was not the right one, but we now have a Nightmare of the Cleansing Dawn, which is a really, really kind of brutal um, description. But the Way of the Woods, let's see if an Occult Scrap will help us get past the Way to the Woods. And if none of these will work, then we'll just use the, um, actually the Mansus Glimpse might help too. Then we'll just use passion to get some more cards from there. And we are seeing visions, so we need dread to offset those visions. We have been paid. Brilliant. And this is unfortunately the part in the game where things kind of slog down a little bit. But I'm going to continue to go through this in not real time, because we're actually fast forwarded uh, our speed, but... Um, I will continue to go through this just to show you what happened, just to show you the gameplay, just to show you how close we might be to being investigated. But this notoriety is going to go away in ten, very, very soon, which is wonderful, which is very, very good. Let's get that passion back over there. Um, let us see. We are dreaming of rain. Is this the way through? No, that is not the way through the wood. Oh, and good, she had just started her thing. Help me. Oh, we need dread? We're gonna go insane. The glory is coming, find dread now or it's over. We have 50 seconds with which to gain dread. We've gained contentment. Oh, that's, that's joy. That's what I want. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't think we can gain dread in 50 seconds. I 
I don't think we can do it. Um, maybe if we go here. That's usually pretty quick. Can we gain dread? Please gain some dread. Please gain some dread. Contentment. Fantastic. Let us dream of the way of the wood. Maybe we can have a nightmare, but this, I think, takes 60 seconds, so that's not going to do it. It's not going to do it at all. Uh, we're going insane. We're losing ourselves to the hallucinations. That's okay. She's actually going to... My adversary has convinced the Suppression Bureau to consider my case. The Bureau is charged with punishment of the less usual type of criminal. The criminal whose crimes may exist only in dreams. But that matters not because... Help me. <sighs> Glory. First was the dreams, then was the visions. Now is everything. I no longer have any idea what is real and what is not. I allowed the visions token to reach three fascination. We shall begin another descent. And here's the wonderful thing. We can start again, this game again, as an aspirant, June the 28th, once again. We can start as a Metropolitan Special Constable, which is available because in one of my previous games, I actually was arrested. And we can actually investigate Giordano Ficino. We're concerned with as a physician, which we got because we went insane. As the patient descended into the final delirium, I made copious notes. In the buzzing heat of the night, I reread those notes, and they began at last to make a kind of sense. Let's begin a new game. Today is the day I return to my post at the Institute. I have a position and a reputation. That should mean something. But I'm beginning to dream of, of something else. So we have a position at the Institute that can be our work. We also have a reason. And we are doctor... I'm just trying to think of different occultists. Doctor... Paracelsus. There we go. I don't know if I spelled that right, but still. A position at the Institute. Today I return to work. Let us return to work. Giordana Ficino was a difficult patient. I had to take some time away after that business ended. Let's see what happens now, because this is a brand new start. This is a brand new beginning. We can study. Work at the Institute. I finished early. The director has been sympathetic, but I must return to full time now. We have our position again. We have our funds. We have our health. And we have four reason. Oof. Oof. That's excessive. I do indeed like that. Let's go back to the Institute. There's a dank and clinging smell to the Institute halls that never quite leaves one. Perhaps it is the paint. Perhaps it is the patience. Perhaps it is something in the walls. Interesting. So we can study. Notes in the case of Giordano Ficino. My notes spill from the desk drawer where I, where I had thrust them. And that is again the passage of time. The patient spoke of things that could have no meaning, the house without walls, the divided sun, the invisible light, but when I recall how they spoke of that invisible light, my heart, my heart surges, I can ignore the notes no longer. Notes on the case of Giordano Ficino. Let us study my notes in the case of Giordano Ficino. As I begin to read, I recall the delight in the patient's eyes, the music in their voice, but also the smell of the room where he lay bring them right back to this. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. So, like I said, you will die. It's going to happen. Don't worry about it. Odd moments of sense emerge. I'd almost forgotten what curious discursion on the way to Moreland, but now I realize it was the way to Moreland. I've heard of this Moreland. A dealer in troublesome books. The rest of the raving, it means no more than it did before. How can a house lack walls? What is the glory they yearned for? But I can already sense the dreams waiting for me in sleep. 
directions to Moreland's. And so it begins, anew. the directions to Moreland's shop are cryptic when one deals in the kind of books this correspondent deals with. One must be circumspect. Interesting, we have plenty of reason. We have more money. Let us again go back to the physician office. That's good. We don't need to deal with that Arlen anymore. We had so much reason, oh, but we have belief. I could give in to the dreams, but they will devour my reason. So that is explore back. The invisible light. When I wake, my face is racked with tears of joy. That light, cleaner than anything I touch in waking life. But I saw... But I saw what these dreams did to, to Giordana Ficino in the end. I would not be wise or safe to follow them. Interesting. We found Moreland's shop. Let us return. Actually, no. Let us not return to Moreland's shop. Because we have no money. Now that I've found the location, I can explore it. We also have an occult scrap. Which we can then build to recreate the Society of St. Hydra in Giordano Ficino's image. Brilliant. Let us... Let's study health. Let's upgrade our health a little bit. But no, we have no passion. How do we gain passion as the doctor? Do we gain passion as the doctor? I'm... That is interesting. That is interesting. Again, more money. Let's just continue to get more money, and then we can start investing in some books. Okay. Good. We are content. We are spending our money. We have health and vitality. Let's again study health. Let's dream of reason. There's once a man who said that the sleep of reason produced monsters. There we go. But... Uh, Also, how do we get to talk? How do we how do we find an accomplice? I don't know. At least at least the work this way is is fairly regular. It's fairly easy. We are, once again are having bleak thoughts, but we have no dread, which is good. Health and vitality. Let us study to vitality. Interesting. I've never played as a doctor before in this game. I did a little bit about a as a police officer, but... Oh, Rousseau's Nightmare will give us... Oh, with reason, it will also give us dread. So we must find some form of contentment. Reason and dread. Let us dream on health. And let us... No. We can only explore the one place. Let us explore with an occult scrap. No, we have, we have money. We're doing well with money. Let us purchase a book. Huh. And the dread, we're already starting to lose our mind. No, no, that was visions. This is visions. This is depression. This is despair. Again, collect all. Let's just cycle back through the work. This is fine. Or maybe I must work with reason. Oh, there's the fractious visions. Sanskrit reader. Cool. We can study Sanskrit. We still need occult scrap. We, 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 need, we can't talk about anything just yet. There's health. And there's that. Let us study a Sanskrit reader. Let us become knowledgeable in Sanskrit. But we cannot yet talk. We cannot yet talk to anyone. We have no followers. We have no accomplices. Health, fleeting memory. Let us dream of reason. We are now have a new book. The War of the Roads, 1450 to 1580, censored edition. Willis Ford describes the War of the Roads, an event in a history other than our own in detail. But numerous pages have been removed, the name of the publisher is blacked out, and an ominous slip stapled and an ominous slip stapled to the cover explains that Willis Ford has been excised. Well, that's fascinating. Again, let's go back to the shop. We're pretty good in terms of money. We're actually making more money than we're spending. But how to actually found a cult as a doctor? 
We must gain the talk ability first. Thoughts. We have dread thoughts. We have thoughts of despair. We must gain contentment. The humors of a gentleman. Perhaps we must explore this scrap, this occult scrap first. We are a scholar in Sanskrit, but let us continue the War of the Roads. In this past, a score or more of longs were made. They brokered peace with the Forge of Days long enough to set England on a path of early conquest and eventual destruction. The Forge itself devoured the greatest among them. Are they saying that England's colonial history was a result of deals with the devil? Hmm. That's an interesting little suggestion. If indeed I'm interpreting that right. The crowds of sleep. There was once a man who said that the sleep, yes, we know that. But I want... I want contentment. I need contentment. And there indeed is contentment. If we dream of reason, we can be content. We can focus on our demons and we can realize they have no control over us. We have control over them. But yet, we still have no passion. <sighs> and how do we get passion? Let us explore with health. We do have two... Oh, let us explore with health. We do have two health. Let us dream again of reason. Let us belief. Oh. Reason is the temptation. Or we can use reason to counteract the temptations. Maybe is that, is that how we do that? But the despair is gone. We've studied the censored edition of the War of the Roads. The royalty of England, according to Willis Ford, became the sovereigns of the leashed flame, destroying or transforming their enemies, conquering Europe, establishing grand cathedrals to St. Spark. The alliance with the forge begins to take its toll. The last few chapters are missing entirely. <sighs> And that is a furtive truth, a detail smuggled from an adjacent narrative. Don't speak this while you may be overheard. Exploring with this scrap of knowledge may hunger for secret locations in the Shires. And there are different locations in the city. A hireling. I found someone whom I might pay to enact regrettable necessities. Add funds to hire them for a limited time. Maybe. Is this how we get to... To passion? I don't even know. I don't even know. But there goes the fleeting memory. Humors of a gentleman, let us study this. Interesting. Oh, there is talk. There is talk. We must reason. Passion, pat. Oh, there we go. We have a locksmith secret. Sooner or later, every locksmith has the dream. Now we recite its seven phases. Nearly every summoning right boy requires knock influence. There we go. We also have a watchman's secret. Boom. I wielded the knife in sleep. There is pain, but even the pain is a signpost. I have bound the wound. I'll tell them it was an accident. In the dream, I saw the door. Someday soon, it'll pass. And there indeed is our passion. There's also our temptation of enlightenment. Excellent. And let us continue to work as a doctor. And now it gets interesting. Let us speak of a furtive truth. No, we cannot speak. Oh, kindred spirits. One of the patients at the Institute also has a bandaged eye. A self-inflicted wound, they say. Perhaps it will speak soon. Oh yeah, because I stabbed myself in the face. The one-eyed Paracelsus. Interesting. And we have a bomb maker. Perhaps we shouldn't discuss politics just yet. This hireling will be useful for some expeditions and can help with hunters and annoyances. We have a bomb maker. Interesting. But this fascination, Nightmare the Cleansing Dawn. Fascination may provoke visions, but we need dread to counteract the fascination. So we need to become restless somehow. Because we do not want this doctor to fall into visions just like Giordano Pacino before him did. We have an additional Watchman's Secret. Interesting. But we are talking to this kindred spirit. My wound has healed, and so has theirs. They don't understand why they did it, but they dreamt of me that night. We are connected. We also have the wrong kind of attention. We may get an adversary relatively soon, but we are not notorious, nor do we have any mystique, so I don't think that will happen. But 
let us speak to Saliba. This man of prodigious appetites. He's long past the point where the satisfaction has given him any pleasure, but he has learnt so very much. We will speak with Saliba, and we shall form the Society of St. Hydra. Choose founding principles, a furtive truth. We will re-establish the Society of St. Hydra. We... I will not collect the notoriety. I will wait... Oh, they stole it from me. Dang it. I was hoping that I could wait to, to, to hold off. But Saliba is an acquaintance. There we go. Moreland's shop. We are a Sanskrit scholar. Let us, let us explore Moreland's shop. Let us purchase another book that we can, we may then study. But this is, this is good. I do indeed, however, want more passion. And our adversary is again Dr. Natalia Dragon. Intriguing. Intriguing. However, we will not let her get the best of us. We've learned from Giordana Ficino's mistakes. The Queen of the Rivers. There we go. There is, a, there is a health. We will study a health to get a vitality, which we can then use to offset the illness. Boom. Boom. This is good. Our money is going up. Um, the Queen of the Rivers. A surreal contemporary play by the enigmatic Monica Medina, in which the Queen of the Rivers are murdered. Queens of the Rivers are murdered one by one. Let us continue to look for books in Moreland's shop. We shall dream with reason and see what happens. Because I do want some dread. I want dread to offset said fascination. And I believe you can get dread through dreaming. An introduction to histories. We shall continue to do that, but we will not explore temporarily in order to regain our funding. I'd actually like to bring that up to 10 before we do much more. There we go. What hungers drive me? Reason. Nope. Okay. Um, but yeah, we do now have this affliction. We are about to have, boom, vitality. Put the health back there. <sighs> okay. This, this is good. Although we are going to succumb to the temptation of enlightenment. Restlessness will create dread, which is wonderful for us, which because that will then offset the visions. Excellent. Let us study... Um, how many health do we need? We need, we need, uh, let's study passion. Let's get an additional passion out of this. There we go. But. This, for now, we have reason and a glimmering. Oh, good. When we study this passion, our, we will then have enough glimmerings. There's our vitality. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But that will be the end of this particular, oh, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? A terrible clarity. We must give it our call it reason. There we go. And once again, the bleak thoughts are consuming us, but we shall feed this to the visions first. There we go. This is how you make money, friends. This is how you make money. So your first character is just delving into the mysteries, right? This is how you expand on them. There we go, that dread is going away. We now have an additional passion, an additional glimmering. We shall get more passion. Good. This is a passionate doctor. And Paracelsus is, is if you know anything about his history, was indeed a passionate madman of a doctor. Let us dream with passion on an occult scrap and see where that leads us. But now our rise begins. We have a temporary headquarters. We are the Society of St. Hydra. We have Saliba, a believer. Our reason is dimmed, yes. And we have a furtive truth upon which our new society have found is founded. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time in Cultist Simulator. Have a fantastic day. Ciao, everybody.